Hey, Leah, Arman, and Robert, are you all ready for today's training? For surely, Mr. B, what do you plan on teaching us? Yep, I'm down. Let's do it. What's on the agenda? Nope, count me out. Not again, Arman. What's the problem this time? Not ready. I'm still recovering from the last training when you broke my brain with the lab setup. He he he. Oh, come on, bro. I'm sure this one's going to be fun. Fun? That's what you said last time, and now I dream in command line. Ah, uh, okay. Trust me, today's session will be worth it. We'll dive into Burp Suite, focusing on the dashboard, target, proxy, intruder, and repeater tools, and use them to find spicy stuff in the OWASP juice shop. Juice shop? Like a smoothie store? Hee <laughs> hee, not quite. Juice Shop is a purposely vulnerable web app designed to teach security testing. No smoothies, but plenty of hacking opportunities. Oh, so it's like a smoothie store, but for hackers. Got it. Exactly. Now can you please stop interrupting? Sounds interesting. So, where do we start? We'll begin with the dashboard. This is where Burp Suite gives us an overview of all our ongoing tasks and results, like vulnerability scans and traffic analysis. Think of it as our command center. So, it keeps track of everything we're doing in real time? Exactly. The dashboard helps us stay organized, especially when juggling tools like proxy, repeater, and intruder. Okay, what's next after the dashboard? Next is the target tool. This helps us map out Juice Shop by showing its structure endpoints, directories, and parameters. So, it's like drawing a blueprint of the app? Exactly. Once we understand the app's layout, we'll move to the proxy tool. Proxy is for intercepting traffic, right? Right. Proxy sits between our browser and Juice Shop, capturing HTTP and HTTPS requests and responses. We'll inspect and even modify traffic to understand how the app processes data. And this helps us find vulnerabilities? Big time. For example, we might intercept a login request and tweak it to test for SQL injection vulnerabilities. Okay, that sounds cool. What's the plan with Repeater? Repeater is where the real fun begins. Once we identify an interesting request in proxy, we'll send it to Repeater to manually modify and resend it. This is great for fine-tuning payloads and confirming vulnerabilities. And Intruder is for automating that, right? Exactly. Intruder lets us brute force or fuzz inputs with multiple payloads. For instance, we could test login credentials or inject malicious inputs to find weak spots. Wait, so we're spying, poking, and bombarding Juice Shop all at once? Ha ha ha. Pretty much. And with the dashboard, we'll keep track of all our findings, ensuring nothing slips through the cracks. I like that the dashboard keeps everything organized. This sounds like a solid plan. Same here. I'm excited to put all these tools to the test. Fine, I'll join in. But only if we hit the fuzz spot afterward. Taking down fake juice shops definitely calls for some noodles and a real mango smoothie with pearls to wash it down. That's the spirit, Arman. First, we'll learn more about Burp Suite and Juice Shop, so get ready to meet your new favorite tools. Then, we'll install and configure both, cause who doesn't love setting up software, right? Finally, we'll dive into Burp Suite, hunt down some Juice Shop vulnerabilities, and have some fun exploiting them. You ready to go? Have you ever wondered how security professionals test web applications? Let's explore the key features of Burp Suite. Burp Suite is one of the leading tools for web application security testing, widely trusted by professionals to uncover vulnerabilities in secure applications. According to a report by OWASP, it's used by over 50,000 professionals worldwide. 
One of Burp Suite's standout features is its intercepting proxy. This tool lets you capture and change requests between your browser and the server, giving you full control during testing. You can check things like headers, cookies, and parameters, and make changes in real time to find hidden issues and see how the app reacts to unexpected inputs. Another powerful feature is the scanner. It automatically finds weaknesses in web applications, making it easier to spot security issues. From SQL injection to cross-site scripting, it quickly identifies problems, making it a must-have tool for effective testing. And let's not forget the repeater tool. It lets you tweak and resend requests, making it perfect for testing specific weaknesses in an app. You can try out different inputs to see how the app reacts, helping you figure out where it might be vulnerable. It's a handy tool for digging deeper and getting a better idea of how things work behind the scenes. Understanding these Burp Suite features can significantly improve your security assessments. We'll dive deeper into Burp Suite and its other features soon, but for now, let's shift our focus to OWASP Juice Shop. When I first started learning about web security, I felt overwhelmed and unsure where to begin. There's so much to cover, from basic vulnerabilities to advanced tools, and it can be hard to know which direction to take. OWASP Juice Shop is an intentionally insecure web application designed to help developers and security enthusiasts test and improve their skills. It's a great resource for hands-on learning, allowing you to explore various vulnerabilities in a safe, controlled environment. I was frustrated because traditional training methods just didn't resonate with me. I needed something more hands-on and interactive to truly grasp web vulnerabilities and see how they work in real-world scenarios. Once I discovered Juice Shop, everything clicked. I could dive into real-world scenarios, learn through trial and error, and best of all, it was actually fun. It made all the difference in my understanding of web security. Juice Shop covers a wide range of vulnerabilities, from SQL injection to cross-site scripting. It even provides helpful hints and solutions, so I could learn without feeling overwhelmed. What started as feeling stuck and confused quickly turned into successfully completing challenges and building confidence. Juice Shop truly transformed my learning experience, making security concepts clearer and more accessible than ever before. Uh, not this place again. Why does he keep moving us around? To keep you on your toes, arm on my boy. Dude, seriously, you gotta stop messing around. Alright fine, let's move on to installing Burp Suite. To get started, visit the official Burp Suite website at www.portswigger.net. Under Products, select Burp Suite Community Edition to download the free version. When prompted, enter your email address and click Download. Choose the appropriate operating system, then click Download to start the process. Now that the download is complete, navigate to your downloads directory and double-click the Burp Suite installer to start the installation. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup, ensuring you select the appropriate options for your operating system. Finally, launch Burp Suite for the first time and get ready to explore its features. Something to keep in mind when using the Community Edition is that, although it's free, it has limited features compared to the Professional Edition. While it's perfect for learning and basic testing, advanced tools like the Automated Vulnerability Scanner and other efficiency-focused features are only available in the paid version. However, for our testing against OWASP Juice Shop, the Community Edition should be more than enough. Speaking of which, I think it's about time we download and install our good friend, the Juice Shop. Shall we? So, let's open a browser and head over to owasp.org slash www-project-juice-shop to get started. From there, click on Docker image under the installation options. While there are several ways to install Juice Shop, for our demo purposes, we'll set it up as a Docker container. This means you'll need to have Docker installed beforehand. Please note that we won't be covering the steps to install Docker, 
as it's assumed you already have it set up. Once you have Docker installed, setting up Juice Shop is a breeze and can be done in just two simple steps. First, under the Docker pull command section on the Juice Shop website, click the copy button next to the command. This will copy the necessary pull command to your clipboard. Next, paste the command into your terminal and execute it to download the Juice Shop Docker image to your local machine. Next, run the following command in your terminal. Docker run rmp3000 colon 3000 kimonich slash juice shop. This will start the juice shop container and map it to port 3000 on your local machine. You should now be able to access the juice shop web application by opening your browser and navigating to http forward slash forward slash localhost 3000. And that's it. Juice Shop is up and running, your very own vulnerable smoothie empire is ready for some chaos. In the next few videos, we'll team up with Burp Suite to hunt down vulnerabilities like cyber detectives on a sugar rush. Get ready to peel back the layers of Juice Shop and squeeze out those exploits. Uh, Junior, can you please cut it out with the dad jokes already? I'm here to learn, not cringe. Let's focus on Juice Shop and Burp Suite before I lose my sanity or my patience. Ah, uh, okay? Glad you could tolerate this thrilling content, Armon. Don't worry, we'll be back soon to grace you with even more excitement in the next video. Try to contain your enthusiasm. So until next time, remember. It's always Cyber Soul Security, and we out. Time to clap, put in work, time for me to, time yeah, to work.